Today we're continuing the improving the last video tutorial on how you can turn on your computer remotely and we're going more deep into coding and setting up our ESP8266 for MQTT connection. If you haven't seen the first video yet, please make sure you watch that first. It goes hand in hand with this one. You have all the informations needed in the description or website article. Let's get started. So MQTT stands for MQ Telemetry Transport and it was made for easy data message transport between devices. It has a very low bandwidth impact and it's super stable being capable to maintain a connection for years without disruption. The work principle is very easy. Let me lie to you with a simple schematic. So we have the two entities MQTT Broker and MQTT Client. The client will publish or get messages from broker. The clients being the one that are connected to broker solves any port closed or IP changing issues. In more simple words, here in Romania we have the Baba, like MQTT broker. The other Baba tells the broker Baba messages and the broker Baba makes sure every Baba subscribed to those topics get the news. Easy, right? So imagine we have in our bedroom a temperature sensor. We can have a topic named bedroom temperature on which our sensor will publish temperature from time to time. Our heating system can be subscribed to bedroom temperature topic and adjust the temperature accordingly. And in today's video topic, we'll have the computer button subscribe to our computer power topic. And when we'll publish a message, the computer button will act accordingly. Now, before uploading the new code into our module, we need to have an MQTT broker, the Baba that knows everything. And for this, we have a few free options that will work fine for this project. I will get much more deep in setting up your private MQTT server in some other video, so you can have limitless possibilities. So be sure you subscribe to this channel if you're interested in this kind of content. Ok, so for today's example, we will use Adafruit IO as MQTT broker. I've chosen this one for today's demo, as you don't need a Raspberry Pi or other external device to make it work. It's a pretty straightforward process and it's also free up to 10 feet. So you need to enter on io.adafruit.com and create an account. Click on get started for free and fill the informations. Log into your account, go to feeds and create a new feed with whatever name you want. I will use computer button. Then go to dashboards and create a new dashboard with whatever name you want. Click on the plus sign and add a new block on current dashboard and select the momentary button. Select the computer button feed we've created earlier and click on next. Name it however you like. This first block we will set for basic press functionality. On the press value type press and you can delete the release value as it's not needed. Click on create block. As our module is not connected directly to reset button, and only to power button, we can do a hard shutdown by pressing the power button for a longer time. This way we can always shut down and power on the computer if it's not responding anymore. So click again on the plus sign and let's create a hard shutdown button. Same as before, but now the value will be long press. This will press the button for 5 seconds. Do the process again and type ultra long press, which is just a failsafe that will press the button for 9 seconds. Now, with Adafruit account configured, we need to upload a code to our module. Open up Arduino IDE 
Go to Sketch, Include Library, Manage Libraries, Search for Adafruit IO Arduino, and install it with all dependencies. Now in the description I've placed a code to download. Get it, unzip it and double click on poweroncomputer.ino. Under the config tab, change the Wi-Fi username and password according to yours. Now we need to fill IO username and key, which can be easily be found in the right hand side of Adafruit account. Clicking on AIO key. Change that also. And now we need to tell the module on which topic needs to be subscribed. So we go to feeds and near the computer button feed, we can see the key computer line button. Copy paste that under Power on Computer tab to Adafruit.io feed. Now we're ready to upload the code. Plug in your module, select D1 Mini from Tools board. And from Tools port, select the port of the module. Click on Upload and wait for it. The code will compile and upload to your module. After it's complete, wait for a bit to get connected to your Wi-Fi and Adafruit MQTT. Now if we go to Adafruit dashboard and click on the buttons previously created, you should hear the relay clicking accordingly. So at this point we can connect the module to the computer button as I showed you in the previous video. And we can already power on the computer from Adafruit IO dashboard. But this time it will work no matter if we have dynamic IP or the port it's blocked. But how about making it work with Google Assistant? So we can power it using a voice command. In order to achieve this, we need to create an account on IFTTT. This is a free service which connects dozens of things with other things. In our case, it will connect the Home Assistant voice command with Adafruit IO. So go ahead and create an account on IFTTT.com. I will just log in to my account. Now click on Create from the avatar. You will see the generic If This Then That. Click on this and search for Google Assistant. First time, it may ask you to connect with your Google account, so go ahead and do that. Select say a simple phrase, and there you have three options of what Google should be listening. So I will put three common phrases that I will use to turn on my computer. On what should respond, you can type whatever you want Google to say after your task is completed. Click on Create Trigger and now click on that. Here we select Adafruit from the list. After you connect to your account, click on the only option, send data to Adafruit IO. On feed you should have the computer button and on data to save, type in press. Create action and click on finish. Now everything's ready for the final test. Okay, no worries. Let me send you the files.
Okay, Google. Turn on my computer. Okay, powering on the computer. Thank you for watching my video. I really hope you've learned something useful today. And if you're interested in this kind of stuff, please consider subscribing. It will give me positive feedback so I know I need to make more content like this. Have a great day and see you soon.